Hey my people, how you doing? Hope you've been damn good day. We are here. Unai Emery Tactics, it's great, it's brilliant. The man has done extremely well beating Bayern Munich and that was the main inspiration for this video. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Of course we have gone ahead and created his face in FIFA 22. Um, go check that out after this video. But um, yeah, we're going to do the tactics of Villarreal right now. And um, they are very pragmatic. Keep, keep an open mind about it. But it's a base 4-4-2 formation um, and it's set up very rigidly. Very Jose Mourinho-esque, if I might say so myself. Um, but every player's got their certain set of instructions that just makes them a great player. I mean, just looking at the Villarreal team, I noticed that there were some washed players, washed players, um, that in this system look amazing. I mean, this also has not had a good season at Tottenham. Gets loaned out at Villarreal, and he's having a phenomenal season. Um, Coquelin didn't have a good career at Arsenal. I mean, left. Um, people were like, no, he's not good enough to play at the high level. Here he is, Arsenal fans. He is playing in a Champions League semi final. Damn near, um, Serge Aurier left Spurs. Um, he was told that he wasn't a good enough player. Here he is. You know? Jacquese is brilliant, of course. And Juma, he played for Bournemouth. And now look at him like, score goals against Bayern Munich. Uh, Al Kassir is a prime example of that. Um, played at Barcelona, played for Barcelona. Brilliant player. Barcelona didn't rate him, he didn't do as well as what he should have. But here he is, doing bits and pieces for a semi final Champions League team. It just goes to show systems work for players. And players flourish in certain systems. And the system works for these players. So, yeah. So, of course, we have that 4 4 2 formation. We've got some great players in this team. Van Juma, the Salsa, Chiquazi. I love Chiquazi, by the way. Um, Coquelin, Perreo, Trigerios, Pedraza, Pau Torres, Raul Abiol, Serge Aurier, and of course, this guy, the man who scored the winning penalty against Manchester United in the Europa League final last season. That's a big introduction for him, but really, the goalkeeper. Um, we've got Pino on the bench, Jeremy Pino. Really do like this kid. Um, El Casilla, of course, Moreno, Kaku, um, back goalkeeper Asenio, Mandy, who used to play for Real Batiste, and uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce him, but Estupinian, I don't know. Left back, brilliant, great stuff. Um, so, yeah, that, that's a team. Of course, there are a few other players here, but this is the team I've gone with, and um, these are the tactics I've gone with in the instructions. So, um, for defensive style, you want them to have pressure on the ball, pressure on heavy touch. Like I say, it's a very pragmatic team and it's very blocky-esque because it's a 4-4-2. So it's led, the press is led straight from the front and it's, it's setting from the front. So those two front guys, the Salsa and Dan Juma, they're going to be pressing the, the, the back line, the opponent's back line, I should say. And then in the midfield, it's just all hell breaks loose. There's four people there, they're there to win the ball back and they're applying a lot of pressure. So. It works out quite well that Trigerios plays as a winger um, because he does come in a bit more and help out the midfield. Sometimes switching to a midfield three with Jaquese, Dan, and Dan Juma shifting out as wingers from time to time. You know, I'm a very smart man, I must say. As for width, it's set on 50. You don't want your backline pushing up too high. Raul Aviol and Paul Torres are not the fastest of players. Um, and because you are going to have your wing backs overlapping, you don't really want um, the line that, that your defenders are playing to be too high or too low because then it's just extra work for those wing backs. So, yeah, getting forward as a wing back is a, is a hard job. Um, and as with the depth as well, you got that on 50. I, I, I just explained it the wrong way. So, you are going to have it on, on wide defensively. But a decent amount and depth you're not going to have too high or too low so you get this just different though you, you, you're a smart person i can tell you're smart um as for the offensive build up you wanted to have a slow build up obviously unai emery even at arsenal very pragmatic I keep saying pragmatic but it's the truth though um very maniacal it's a word of the day right there um way of looking at the game would want to have the ball as much as possible and try and open up spaces and then pouncing those mistakes. So a slow build-up is necessary and then the forward runs are what is most important about this team. Dan Juma, Chiquese, um, the Celso, all those players, they're going to be in the box, in and out of the box, making moves, making runs, 
your midfield two slash three. They're going to be there finding crosses, finding balls to play in to those forward runs that are made by your forwards. Is the main forward runs. So Chikwese is a big one because he's going to cut in on the wing a lot, and you want him to be getting shots off in the box and, and, and making those back post runs. And, and this is a brilliant way to maximize the quality of those players. As for width though, you've got a 2 on 60. You are going to have a lot of attacks along the, um, the touchline areas. So Chikwese, Tregarios, uh, Serge Aurier, Pedraza, whoever you have as your wing backs or your wingers, they're going to have a lot of the ball. So make sure if you do implement the system that your wingers are at least decent with the ball and they can make stuff happen along the wing. Um, so there, there will be a lot of inter play or interleaving play and so on on the, the touchline, baselines, all those areas of the pitch. Very seldom do you want to work the ball through the middle because there's, there's no real threat in the middle to, to work with. I mean, Pereo and Coquelin, they're going to want to work the balls out wide to the Dan Juma who will be on set drift wide to Jaquaza who will be cutting in on the wing to Dragarios or to even the Salsa. So more times than not go along the wing, wing areas and uh, it's, it's a success. Players in the box though, you want to turn on seven. Um, back post runs from the opposing opposite fullback, um, always great. Um, lots of players in the box, you want those crosses flying into the box more times than not and it works out quite well. Uh, corners sit on three as well as free kicks. You don't want to over commit to many players because it, it's really not great with counter attacks. Okay, oh yeah, as for the instructions, really, um, it's just a simple instruction. Come for crosses. That's it. In in every tutorial I'll ever do, I'll there will be at least the the one instruction will be come for crosses because in FIFA 22, if you don't have that for your goalkeeper, it's shambolic. More times than not. You, you want to smash your own box. So come for crosses and nor, nor, nor I like playing the super keeper but for this formation because it's so rigid and pragmatic and defensive. Um, the, the back line isn't too high up the field for there to be a low space for, for balls to be knocked over the top and, and so on. So I think uh, for this it makes sense to just make it a, a balanced uh, game. So yeah. Um, as for your wing back your left side of wing back anyway. Serge Aurier has got a slight variation to his uh, his play, but uh, we have join the attack and then normal as well as mixed. So Pedraza is going to be making inverted runs, um, overlapping runs, um, because he's also got quite a shot on him. You you'd want him essentially getting into the box uh, and potentially putting in a cross or even getting off a shot. So that's why I have that set as that. Otherwise more or less the same on this side except for Serge Aurier you want him overlapping to mainly make the crosses you don't want him shooting that much it's always to overlap Jaquese and make the cross and um yeah that's pretty much set for the defense Raul Albiol and Paul Torres they're the same no step up no anything it's just do your job make sure you're compact and everybody will be happy as for Danny Pereo and Coquelin also very similar but at the same time slightly different um, Coquelin is stay back when attacking, so he's going to be more of your DM bite in the midfield type player as well as stay on the edge of the box, he's going to win you the ball back more times than not on the edge of the box, recycle possession and make sure that your wingers have a lot of the ball. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's that. As for Pereo, you've got stay back when attacking of course because he's your, well, they're, they're your midfield duo and it's a defensive system, but at the same time you're going to have him on free roam. So he will be allowed more freedom than Coquelin, but he's the only one in the system that's allowed free roam. Because everybody's got their role, everybody's got their duty, and because he's the most creative player in the team, you're going to need him a lot on the ball, and it works out very well because he's got a, a bit of a freer system. Of course, he's not going to get too high up the field as you've set him on stay back when attacking, but he's going to be supplying Jaquese, Lo Celso, Dan Juma, Moreno, whoever's in. He's going to be supplying you with the ball, and he wants him to get on the ball a bit more in the midfield. It works out very well. He's got a great long pass on him. Can absolutely launch balls 40, 50 yards, make perfect passes. So you want him on the ball. You want him in the team as much as possible as well. 
as for Trigarios though, Trigarios though, um, as well as Trigarios, more or less same type of, of constructions. Um, come back on defense because of course it's a rigid system. You want your wingers helping your, your wing backs, as well as you want your wing backs helping your wingers attack. It's a very much a team game uh, when you play for Villarreal. Um, you want Trigarios cutting inside and you want him to get in behind. And of course get in the box because the more players you have in the box, the more chance you have for scoring. Um, same goes for Chukweze. Come back on defense, cut inside, get in the box, and well, get in the box and get in behind. That's the one. Um, Chukweze, though, slightly, you know, I, I like running along the baseline with him, slash touchline area, and um, just making the defenders crowd. You know, he, he's honestly an amazing signing to make for keeper. Side, side tangents, but you know, he's a great signing to make for keeper. Brilliant player, brilliant talent, and he's very fast, which makes him amazing to use. Um, as for Giovanni Lo Celso, the Spurs loan me, who's a midfielder that plays as a striker, but can play as a striker. In in this system, I know he is a striker, but he kind of plays more of, I'd say, uh, a number 10, because he does drop. Even without like, the system, it's the Dan Juma settings that also affect him. Um, and he is on stay forward, so he will be your outlet. But he, he more or less is a number 10 for MU. Um, and I didn't really want to mess too much with his like, instructions here, because you don't want to. Sometimes you can overdo instructions and then it breaks the game. Um, so sometimes less is more. And for him, just giving him the, the freedom when in possession um, works out in your favor. And then Dan Juma, oddly the superstar of the team of late. He has been scoring goals. He's linked with massive moves all over the place. I mean, United are in for him. He would be a brilliant signing, but his pace is his biggest attribute in the system. Of course, counter attacks are a real thing for Villarreal. We saw that in the second leg against Bayern Munich. But um, he's on drift wide, get in behind, and come back on defense. So he's more or less the, the third man in midfield, sometimes the fourth man in midfield. Um, but in attack, you, you spring him the ball and he's going to score you the goals. So, yeah. But those are the instructions for this Villarreal super team that I'm hoping beats Liverpool in the Champions League semi final. Of course, let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this video. And um, of course, guys, I hope you have an absolutely outstanding, amazing damn day. I'm out. I'm going to go stream on Twitch. Check me out there. Link is in the description down below. And um, don't forget to check out Emery's face that we made in FIFA 22.